My expectations on uh, developing this cost action included the, the wish to make the combat assay more standardized. Clever ideas to make it an easier assay for people to work with. So there's a lot of variation between laboratories carrying out apparently the same technique and we wanted to produce some standard operating procedures. I really believe this is an experience that you cannot miss from your curriculum. As I see, it's a reliable method and you, can, you have a lot of opportunities both in biomonitoring and in vitro assays. So we have been uh, quite in the mid of action because we have been collecting data from all laboratories uh, publishing the papers on biomonitoring uh, in the Comet C. And also I can see that it's a lot of interaction and collaboration within, within uh, H-Comet. So I can see how different consortia are formed and collaborations and it's much easier to build different uh, initiatives with people. People are getting together as friends and it's, so it's a very short uh, sort of distance between different people now. Well, activities of the cost section that I have applied already were as STSM, short-term scientific mission, uh, where you receive some funding uh, to visit uh, a lab from another country. You can connect with the scientists from the same field uh, from different countries, both the senior ones from which you can learn a lot and the new ones with whom you can start new collaborations. STSM and training schools, they are a great opportunity for unexperienced people to get more practice and the best knowledge. So this cost action is directly relevant to our uh, business and to our research activities because it's dealing with the Comet assay and different applications of this technique. The joining any of cost action is a good opportunity for people to meet, to learn new techniques and to try to, to, to perform them and establish them in, in their own labs and countries. So it's definitely more than I expected, basically. Thank you.